In this lecture, we will see different types of defects and failures, and you need to remember which defect belongs to which testing level. First testing level is component testing, and these are the three different types of defects we can find here. Incorrect functionality, data flow problem, and incorrect code and logic. First of all, you need to know, in component testing, code is available to the tester, and we apply white box testing technique to do it, like statement coverage, decision coverage, and etc. Now let's see an example of it. So this is a piece of code where we are performing statement coverage testing. Now, you can see here, piece of the code is available to the tester, and from this, we have flowchart, and using that, we are testing each statement. While performing statement coverage, we will come to know if code is implemented correctly, data is flowing as expected, or the logic of the code is correct or not. Whenever defect is related to code, it can be logic-related or incorrect implementation. Then such defects are found in component testing. So correct functionality, data flow problems and incorrect code, and logic defects are examples of component testing. Now, let's move to the integration testing. First one is incorrect data, missing data, or incorrect data encoding. Since during integration testing data is transferred from one module to other module, therefore, while performing integration testing, we can find incorrect data, missing data, or incorrect data encoding. Let's see an example. Suppose there are the two modules where one module is sending data in the character form, whereas other is expecting data in integer form. Then, while performing testing, we can find incorrect data related defects. Next is incorrect sequence or timing of interface calls. Let's understand this with the help of an example. These are the two modules of integration testing. Here, one module is sending data in 100 milliseconds, whereas other is accepting data in 10 milliseconds, and vice versa. Here, the data will be lost since timing is different, and we can find such errors during integration testing. Next is interface mismatch. Let's have a look into the example. Again, we have two modules where one module is sending three data, but other module is only accepting two data. In this case, communication will fail. Next point is also related to this. In integration testing, we can find failure in communication between components. Next one is unhandled or improperly handled communication failures between components, as we saw in our last example. Last one is incorrect assumptions about the meaning, units, or boundaries of the data being passed between components. As we saw in the first example where one module was expecting character value, whereas other was looking for integer values. So these were the six examples of defects that can be found during integration testing. Incorrect data, missing data or incorrect data encoding, incorrect sequencing or timing of interface calls, interface mismatch, failures in communication between components, unhandled or improperly handled communication failures between components, incorrect assumptions about the meaning, units, or boundaries of the data being passed between components. Now let's see the example of defects of system testing. First one is incorrect calculation. Since in system testing, we provide input to the system and compare output. For an example, if calculator is our system, then we only give 4 and 6 as input to the system, and if it calculates 11 as output, then we can say system is calculating wrong. Next is incorrect or unexpected system functional or non-functional behavior. If we see an example again, we expect this system to give 10 as output, but if output is 11, then we can say system is not functioning as expected. Therefore, incorrect or unexpected system functional or non-functional behavior is example of system testing. Next is incorrect control and or data flows within the system. If the data flow related issue is not found in the previous testing level, then these types of issues can be found in the system testing. Next is failure to properly and completely carry out end-to-end -end functional tasks. 
Since we provide input to the system and check the output, with system testing, we perform end-to-end -end testing. Next is failure of the system to work properly in the system environment. During system testing, we test the complete system, so we can find out if the complete system is not working properly in the system environment. Last one is failure of the system to work as described in system and user manuals. This point is similar to first point, where we saw the incorrect calculation. So these were the examples of defects of system testing. Incorrect calculations, incorrect or unexpected system functional or non-functional behavior, incorrect control and or data flows within the system, failure to properly and completely carry out end-to-end -end functional tasks, failure of the system to work properly in the system environments, failure of the system to work as described in system and user manuals. Now let's have a look into the example of acceptance testing. First defect is system workflows do not meet business or user requirement. Now if you notice, in acceptance testing, we focus on business requirements. In acceptance testing, we check if built system is as per the business rules or not. All the points we will discuss here will be related to business requirement or standards. Second example is also similar. Business rules are not implemented correctly. Third example is system does not satisfy contractual or regulatory requirements. Remember this point, contractual or regulatory requirements are verified during acceptance testing. Since now the complete system is available and it is tested from the user point of view, we can find the next defect, that is, non-functional failures such as security vulnerabilities, inadequate performance efficiency under high loads. And last one is improper operation on a supported platform. Developed system or application will be tested on the supported platform, and then we can find if system is still working fine or not. So these were the examples of defects which we can find during acceptance testing. System workflows do not meet business or user requirements. Business rules are not implemented correctly. System does not satisfy contractual or regulatory requirements. Non-functional failures such as security vulnerabilities, inadequate performance efficiency under high loads, and improper operation on a supported platform.